As promised, I'm back with a short video, but a very informative one. Thank you for coming to my channel, Del Chanel's 48th World. Let's get on into it, and you know what to do. Like, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And share my videos, okay? But as I was telling you about Equifax, remember maybe two or three weeks ago, uh, CNN Business Reporting News segment had brought out Equifax. Facts breach of our uh, information, our personal sensitive information, like social security numbers, probably bank accounts and everything else. They had a breach and the uh, United States Federal Trade Commission. Uh, and it goes back far as 2017 uh, suspected and told everyone about the data breach that affected Equifax's um memory stored information for all individuals. If you don't know who they are, please go look up Equifax. They pretty much report on everything from your birth. <laughs> I mean, they have everything like uh, the first account you open, the first account you close. They have uh, information about jobs you've had in the past, uh, present, and uh, any history of that. Uh, bad dealings or whatnot, whether you got fired, you know, just a whole plethora of information on you that you don't want leaked to anybody. You know, you might have A1 credit and or a security breach like that. They'll go look for people with good credit so they can steal it, take it, and do whatever they want to do with it. So they had a large breach. So they were trying to compensate the people that they were that were affected by this breach and i'm gonna tell you i think it's just a link where everybody they put it for everybody to be affected because everybody in my household get it went on the website that i just posted there where you can go check it's the website is on there and in the green and white and you go into say tools or or, or some kind of uh let me see if i can bring it up but uh I'm recording now, so I can't really just put low videos in there. But if you go to, um, dang, where is it? Uh, Equifax is going to tell you how to uh, get it settled. It's www.equifaxbreachsettlement.com. If you go into that website, it's going to come up to this link where it's going to ask you to put in the last six digits of your social security number and um, I think your last year or your year of your birth and then it's going to come up I guess it's going to call itself searching and it's going to come up more than likely saying your identify uh, your uh, your identification was affected or impacted and go in and submit a claim the two choices you can make is whether or not um, you want to receive the $125, $125 payout, uh, and that's not saying you can't sue them later on if you want to. If you do in the future see something that coincides around that time period from 2017 on up that your uh, information was compromised, somebody stole it, did identity theft on you and all this kind of stuff, then you probably can seek litigation with your own personal lawyer and go and do it. But right now, they're just giving you two options. You can get 10 years with them of um, monitorized or monitoring services when it comes to your information being stored with them for free. If you don't already have like your bank institution giving you free monitoring and, and things of that nature. Uh, or you can take out the $125 payment uh, by check or pre-debit card that they will send you through mail for this indiscretion that happened to them and infected. I want to say everybody they had stored in the data banks besides a newborn child. Okay. Everybody that got a social security number and that's a U.S. citizen, you don't got affected. Okay. More than likely. But uh, for more information and details, like I said, go to EquifaxBreachSettlement.com and it'll give you all the information that you want to know about making a claim. Uh, like I said, I, shit, I did, you know, because I don't think nothing is really secure. But if you can get free money, it's not going to bounce back on you in any negative way. Go on and get that money, honey. Go on and get that money. All right. Um, and then you can go to CNN Business News. Uh, CNN.com, pull up Equifax settled with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission over its 2017 data breach. Um, and then you can read that article at your leisure and get some more edification on what I was saying 
about uh, getting a refund with them or getting 10 years worth of monetary, or not monetary, but monitoring services for free since it actually happened on their watch and they're uh, pretty much held accountable by the U.S. Federal Trade Commission saying, oh, you're going to do something about this. Instead of, us giving them, instead of them giving us a million dollars, shutting Equifax down and getting another uh, <laughs> reputable place or person to collect data. But like I said, anything that a man has to input into a computer system, it can be breached. It's just, you know, that's not even rocket science. It's thinking. That's just common sense. But like I said, check it out. I wanted to come back with the video and um, definitely give y'all a heads up because uh, I'm doing more so not just reviews. I'm trying to inform and uh, give people knowledge out there. So when I do find something that affects affects the masses i try to do my due diligence and put it out there on my platform so you can at least say you are aware of it whether you do anything about it that's your choice that's your opinion that's your um stance on it i'm just giving it to you like you know say I, i'm thinking you're thirsty i want to give you some water you can take it or not you know what i'm saying you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. That's the old saying, y'all. But that's all I want to say about this video. It's just a PSA, a public service announcement uh, that I'm giving y'all information on this data. Breach Equifax uh, permitted and the uh, U.S. Federal Trade Commission is making them pay for it. Okay. And you can also, if it did uh, physically affect you and people... Uh, got a hold to your information and did dirty things with it, you know, charging up stuff, buying stuff, and and you know, selling your information so somebody else can represent that they're you when you know they're not. Uh, and you have documents to show that you can get more than this $125 or 10 years worth of monitoring service. Shoot, they saying they'll pay you out as much as $425 million in compensation. So if you really were affected, do your due diligence and get on it, honey. All right, but that's all I got. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Got some information of informativeness that you can use for future reference. Uh, other than that, have a blessed weekend and I'll see you again sometime today with another video. Okay, because that's what I do when I have time to do it. Amen. Amen. Okay, keep it moving. Bye.